Hello there, let's talk today about how to set up our Arlo camera without the base station. It's pretty simple. As you can see here, I have this Arlo Essential. It's already connected to the power supply. So I have this cable here connected there and the camera is working, right? The idea to set up the camera is to have your app already working. I have here the Arlo app. I got from the Apple store. You can also install with your Android device. And then you log in with your account. If you have, if you don't have an account yet, you just need to create an account with Arlo, it's free. And as long as you have the app here, you can add a new device. As you can see here, the camera is still not blinking. You need to have the camera blinking blue here so you can add the camera to the device. But you're gonna see the instruction here in the app, right? So just launch your app. You have your camera already connected to the power. And here I come to this symbol here to add a new camera. Okay, I click here and add a device. Just click to add a new device here. And then I need to select the type of camera that I have. In this case, I have a camera and it's an essential series. Then I need to select which generation. In my case is the first generation. There's a difference here with the button on the top or on the bottom of the camera. In my case, the, bo the, the bottom of the camera has the button, right? So I just click here. And I need to select the model. In my case, it's an essential indoor with the cable. Yours could be different. So you just need to select your model here. I'm just selecting here essential indoor. And following the instruction here, I just need to hit continue. Click here, continue. And I follow the instruction here, continue again. One more time, it's uh, asking me to connect to the power, already have it here, hit continue. And there's the information for the 2.4 gigahertz network. That's very important, right? The camera doesn't work with five gigahertz. So make sure you have a 2.4 gigahertz router, right? You can make sure that you have 2.4 gigahertz when you check your cell phone. Let me just show you here on mine. So basically here with my iPhone, I can select here the Wi-Fi that I'm using. And here I have this signal, right? So when I click here again, I can, let me just click and hold, then I can select the Wi-Fi that I have the option to connect to. So I know that I have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi here. I have this one and I have a different one here. That's the one I have 2.4 and five gigahertz. I named them differently, so I know. And this one I just named like this to scare people away from my network. So they don't try to connect to my network, right? So let me just select this one that I am sure that is 2.4 and it works pretty fine. And I'm ready to go, okay? I'm doing this just to make sure that I have that 2.4 gigahertz, okay? It's an extra step that you can take to make sure that I have 2.4. So here I just hit continue. And here I have my Wi-Fi signal. That's my cell phone getting this information, right? And then it's going to send this information to the camera, right? So I just, I just need to insert here the password. Let me just put my password here. So here we go. You need to make sure your password is correct. Okay, mine is. And then I just hit continue and follow the instruction. I need to make sure the camera is connected, which it is. And here I just need to Click continue again. And then now I need to press the button on the camera and to make sure that the camera is blinking blue here, the LED is blinking blue. So I have a button here on the bottom of the camera. So as you can see, here it is. I just press once and then you see that starts blinking blue. So pretty simple, just press there and you're ready to go, okay? Hit here, continue. And now there's this QR code. The camera needs to read the QR code. So I just point this to the camera. Here we go. Pointing the QR code. And you hear this chime, which means the camera is ready to go, okay? So the QR code was read. Was read, sorry. Then hit here, continue. And now it's looking for the camera. You see the camera closes here, which means it's connecting to the system. 
which means going to work. Of course, you have a different camera, you're not gonna see this option, but you see that the app is communicating with the camera somehow, you see the LED blinking here, changing, and also see the information here, our local camera is connected, and you can also name your camera. Let me just leave it like this as camera. You can put the name you want here. It doesn't matter. And here you hit continue. And wait for the camera to connect. Here we go. It's checking for updates. It's checking for firmware update, right? And now it's open again here, the lens. Wait for a while, still checking for update. If you have a new firmware, it's going to update it here and download the firmware to the camera. It does this by itself. See, firmware is update, so we're ready to go. And the camera is working, as you can see. It, there's a little bit of delay and the signal here is strong, right? Let me just turn the camera to a different direction here so we can see it working. You see that I'm turning the camera, it takes a while to update because there's a delay here on the camera. Okay, let me just move my hand in front of the camera. As you can see, it takes a while. There's a delay of communication because the camera is communicating to the internet and coming back, right? To the cloud and coming back. So it's basically working. When I move my hand here, you see that's working. Let me just hit continue here and the camera is ready to go, okay? The camera is now active and it's working. I hit finish or I can add another device. In my case, I'm not adding any other device. I'm just hitting finish here and I'm ready to go. Now you see some extra information here. You can read, it talks about the privacy, uh, privacy shield that the camera has, two-way audio, you can communicate using audio and you're ready to go, okay? And now you have here this Arlo dashboard and here you have the devices. And as you can see, I have another Arlo camera back there. When I click here, I can see live. I have the camera here on my laundry. Let me just press the button there. Here you go, okay? And it's really press there and then it loads the image from the camera. That's the camera that I have there in the laundry and you have all the recordings here for this camera. Let me just come back here. Oops, one more time. Here we go. Back here to the devices and just press play here for this one that I just did the setup, okay? So it's basically working here. Here we go, moving again, it takes a while. There is a delay and it's good to go. So that's the way you can set up your Arlo camera without the hub. And now you're recording into the cloud and you can have a subscription there if you want to keep recording there, or you can grab a hub, a hub if you wanna record locally, all right? So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.